welcome you all to the agrivision for you youtube channel my name is piyush ulivkar and today we are going to discuss the uh, gate 2022 xc paper particularly fluid mechanics so now let's move to the next question here we have to find whether the uh, statements is true about the streamlines in a steady incompressible flow so you should uh, have known the clear cut definition of the streamlines and then you should know about the steady and incompressible flow as well so uh, we will talk about the statement two streamline streamlines cannot intersect each other so that is correct two streamlines can't intersect each other why because when i talk about the streamlines when i talk about the streamlines there is always flow between the two streamlines and if the two streamlines intersect how can the flow will flow from from the two intersected streamlines there is no possibility so that's why for the particular flow we can say that the two streamlines cannot intersect each other at particular point there should not be two different velocities it will violate the rule so that means this is correct this is correct that the two streamlines cannot intersect each other now we will talk about the second flow rate increases between the two diverging streamlines okay so if you have two diverging streamlines then the flow rate increases um but uh, i don't think this is true because even if it is diverging or whether it is converging flow should always remain constant the only change will be there in the velocity in this case here as the flow proceeds here the velocity will increase since the area is decreasing and in this case the velocity should decrease since the area is increasing so that means our q should be constant throughout in this case also in this case also so that means this statement is wrong so now if, if i talk about the c flow rate decreases between the two diverging streamlines okay so again the same it is also wrong whether it is converging or di diverging flow will remain constant q q equals area into volume so that should remain constant now next uh, stream function has a has a constant value along the streamline uh, yes definitely um, if i talk about one streamline if suppose this is a streamline then along the path that stream function will have constant value okay so that is the true statement so i can say that the a and d we got a and d as the answer so this is the msq type of question and i think uh, you got this answer correctly so now let's move to the next question so in this question it is written that a wooden cylinder a wooden cylinder of gravity 0.6 here it is given that uh, specific gravity so i can write it as directly the rho for the wooden will be equal to 600 kg per meter cube of length l so it has length of l diameter d in a water okay so it is floating in a water of density find out the minimum value of the d by l for which the cylinder floats with its axial uh, its axis vertical okay so that means this is axis okay since the uh, cylinder is floating here so directly we can use the concept of the buoyancy force here like <clears throat> first i need to denote it as since the gravity will lies on the center here since the geometry is symmetrical i can write directly as g here and this is the submerged solid cylinder now b point will lie here the center of buoyancy force and then after that we have to locate m and for the stability for the stability uh, we will locate it as here 
सो दैट वी विल गेट द इक्वेशन ऑफ बी एम माइनस बी जी इक्वल्स टू जी एम सो फॉर दिस स्टेबिलिटी वी नो दैट द जी एम वैल्यू शुड ग्रेटर देन जीरो ओके फॉर दिस स्टेबिलिटी If it is equal to zero, then it will be the neutral equilibrium, greater than or equal to. So that is the main question. Um, so what we have to do, uh, we just have to write the value of Bm, Bg, and Gm, and we will calculate the Gm for that. Then the value of Bm will be I, and then volume minimum minus Bg. should greater than or equal to zero for this stable condition okay now for this i am going to write it as pi by 64 d power 4 for the circular cross section and then v minimum that is the volume pi by 4 into d square into this particular length and that length is known as i i think it is uh, we can write it as h okay small h so small h This will be the volume, and then minus Bg should get to the number equal to zero. Now we should know the distance between Bg. Okay, so we can find the Bg it as L by two minus of H by two. So this will be equal to Bg. okay so ultimately we can write it as half l minus h equals bg okay so after putting we will get we will cut this 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 with this okay and then 4 16 so i can directly write it as d square by Sixteen of y minus one by two l minus h. Okay, it should be greater than or equal to zero. Uh, but uh, since uh, there is an unknown h, okay, so to calculate this h, I will just equate this particular the weight of. the body the body so the weight of the body that cylinder body will be the mg okay for the um, i can write it as for the cylindrical body and the bion force so it will be also mg but it is for the submerged body since the g and g are both constant so we can cancel it with each other and here you can write it as density into volume equals to density into volume okay so for the cylindrical density i think the density of the cylinder is so 600 into what will be the volume of the particular cylinder pi by 4 d square into uh, l here the density of water now uh, if it is of the case of the bion force i can i have to write the density of the water here 1000 into volume pi by 4 d square into that particular h so i can cancel it out so i will get directly the h equals to 0.6 of l so i will put this equation directly to to here okay directly to here i will put the equation and finally we will get the answer as i have written it directly it is uh, by l equals to 1.38 okay 
सो मे बी दैट इज युअर फाइनल आंसर आई डोंट नो अबाउट द कैलक्युलेशन हियर ओके बट देअर देअर मैट बी मिस्टेक इन द कैलक्युलेशन बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट देन द कॉन्सेप्ट विल बी सेम ओके सो प्लीज चेक द कैलक्युलेशन हियर so this is the question here and in this question 10 kg mass placed on an infinitely long horizontal massless flat so this is a flat plate okay so we have put the mass of 10 kg mass of 10 kg here and now we are uh, just It is supported by the steady vertical water jet. Okay, so there will be the water jet here. It is going striking and going to the left and right direction. So the uh, diameter uh, of the jet will be the five centimeter. And they asked what minimum average velocity is required to hold the mass in the place. So that means they are asking the velocity. Uh, some things are given like. density of the water as usual the value of pi for the uh, correct answer and the g g is directly 10 is given and pi is given 3.14 okay so first in this type of linear momentum equation we have to consider the control volume first have to consider the control volume here and then only we can solve the particular question so in this control volume the mass is coming from here and the mass is going from here and here okay so that means can i say that the vertical force uh, by the jet is balanced by the weight so i can directly write it as momentum equation m2 v2 minus m1 v1 equals to the weight that is mg okay so that should be your outgoing and this is incoming so as you can see that uh, the water will travel in the left and right direction so i can neglect the outgoing okay so there is no point to include the Uh, outgoing velocities and outgoing mass that is alternately the momentum so that's why i can write it as minus of m dot sorry it is m dot dot 1 v1 equals to m into g so we have directly the mass of 10 kg and now here in this case according to the sign convention we are considering that the downfall will have the a positive value and the upgoing will have negative value of the velocity so according to that here we are considering the velocity so that means that minus will convert to the positive sign here and that density 1000 into area so what will be the area of jet it will be the pi by 4 into d square that is 0.05 okay so that is the cross sectional area into the velocity so v1 square equals to same so from this you will get the required answer v1 square equals to so do the calculation and get the final answer i have the final answer as 7.138 okay meter per second so that will be the value of the velocity so again i am telling you i am not sure about the calculation but uh, you can check it out the concepts are same only so let us talk about the next question <laughs> 